it's, it's something we consistently say, Philip. We when we talk about the ACO and the ACO family, it's just you're not going to find a nicer bunch you, of people. You're exactly right. And and I tell you what, you, we talk. You talk about what cornhole people do when they're not doing and mm-hmm. they're looking for a place. This was John Hunter Stanley's first <laughs> tournament. You heard him say that? Right. Guess what he's going to be doing the rest oh, of his yeah. life. Are you kidding me? The rest of his life. He is hooked. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And he didn't pitch like this is the first tournament no, he's ever he, played he in. He had nerves, good. nerves of steel out there on center court. I mean, you talk about Johnny Thomas at the ripe old yeah. age of 97 years old, yeah. nervous on center court. Absolutely. This guy steps out and uh, – Ready to roll. Now, the, the, the this uh, first match has your potential number one champion yeah. of the juniors in here, and that would be Des, Des Stevenson, Stevenson, who you see pitching out of the blue lane as the number one seed out of the juniors against Cam Gettings, yeah. who's the number five seed pitching out of the red lane. The elimination final here is a single game, and uh, they will take on, the winner of this game will take on the king seat occupant right now, which is Griff Johnson, Griff Johnson. The, number of, uh, the number seven seed. So we'll look forward to seeing a couple of games here and learning a little bit more about these players. We yeah. talk about this all the time. You can see what's happening shot to shot on the That's right. on the screen, but we like to fill in the blanks for you where we can. And Dez, I talk to his family, and he just practices all the time. Mm-hmm. He was he was a football player and played a lot of football, and he quit football to take up cornhole. He yeah. likes it so much. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, his sister was the one that was out here, yeah. like I said, I think seven yeah. years old, maybe eight years old, out pitching around. And she said, when does my brother play? And I said, she, uh, is he in the championship match? I said, he's got an opportunity to work himself into that championship match. But he, he I was talking to Des earlier, and he met, mentioned – He's not into any other sports. To your point, he quit yeah. football to play, and this is the only thing he this watches, is the only thing he does. And, boy, i tell you what, he has got a, uh, a quick release he on does. that bag. You know, and he's facing off against uh, Cam Gettings, and Cam puts his whole body into the shot, all 85 pounds of it. Mm-hmm. He's uh, throwing every bit of everything he's got, and he's about to get ready to get their final down and back instructions. Final down and back. Okay, old man. <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, he is old man to them, that's for sure. <laughs> Frank Gears, the cornhole dude, the founder and president of CE and uh well you know, M F I C if you will, of the American Cornhole oh. Organization, and I think nobody has more fun with this than he does even still. Look at this. This is yeah. just this I mean, honestly you might have to time this That's whole right. match with an egg timer. That's right, because it's going to be fast. Mm-hmm. They're going to let them go so there's one hits, the other one's in the air. These juniors do not, do not, do not mess around, no. And I see Cam throwing the BGs, which, the, which is uh, famous for the rollback. Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a lot of the good players like to play those BGs, block and roll. That roll shot that yep. uh, you have not seen up until this point, but you will see it. And you can see that butterfly grip that he's got with the right yeah. hand. Um, and then you see Dez, you know, oh, oh nice shot and overall over top and there. Dez is sitting there thinking, I'm glad we didn't start going this mm-hmm. way. And, so. All right, so and here we go. See their final instructions. We'll be told to bring it and sling it as soon as they get an opportunity. So Dez Stevenson, Cam Gettings to find out who's going to be facing off against Griffin Johnson. Dez, 14 years old. Cam, 13 years old. And like I said, we're always glad to see new faces up here. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, bring man. it, baby, bring it. It's rare that Frank gives the exploding tater, but he yeah. did just then. So I don't know if that was a little favoritism or what was showing there, but the, the exploding tater, that was a big one right there. All right, so we're off and running, and I, and I mean that literally and figuratively <laughs> oh, and that, that with these juniors. A little hot. Let's see if he goes for the airmail early. Uh, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's tried to win right in between them. That's a good bag. He did, and he, he comes in low, hard, and fast. I mean, there is there is just power, power, and more power behind that, that drive shot. Well, you know, being a football player, he probably lifted a lot of weights. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. He has uh, picked up the first couple there. He with does. A, just a, I mean, he bullied his own bag down into the hole there to pick up the first deuce right there. So, Des Stevenson out of Indianapolis plays in. 317 Cornell. He's only been playing, he's been playing just under a year. Yeah. He's already on center stage. I mm-hmm. watched him throw a little bit last weekend, and that's why I had him as my pick. You did. You yes, had him as your number one yeah. pick out of the juniors for this week. And if you get an opportunity, watch us on Taco Tuesdays, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern. It is the oldest, longest standing cornhole podcast slash webcast 
in the whole wide world. I am yeah. the host with Frank Gears, the Cornhole Dude. And when we have some time to fill, we go straight to Phil to prognostication, find out who he thinks is going to take the top spot yeah. in a lot of these uh, we have in a lot, lot of, of these tournaments. That, and sure. You've been pretty spot on. Yeah. I would say you probably you're probably a better than 60, 70 yeah, percent. Probably. You? Am I having a bad week this week? Des needs to come through for me. That's <laughs> for sure. And the longs. <laughs> oh, well, when we head out to Las Vegas, I'm going to be very paying very careful attention yeah, to what you have to you say. Think we can bet on that. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not playing blackjack with uh, you. I'm fan. sure. No, please. Well, <laughs> if you don't even want to make a dent in the cushion of your chair, you can play with me certainly. Yeah. One thing you don't know about me is I used to deal for the casino. I did not know yes, that. I did. A nice airmail right there. I thought he was going to pull that bag in with him, but it just stuck. Oh, one more time him, right here. He's going to make him do it again. He's going to go up and over again. Oh, oh he's just a short one. But knocks, nothing hurt. Knocks Cam's bag in there that time there, so no blood, no foul on that one. So it's going to be 2 nothing. Des Stevenson over top of Cam Gettings. Cam out of Durham, North Carolina. Plays in uh, Bull City Cornhole. He's been he's been playing three years at yeah. 13 years old. Now watch, he throws his almost his whole body into some of these shots here. Huh. And Des comes in. Just cocks and locks and yeah. lets it rock. So far, I think Dez has settled in early, not showing any mm -hmm. nerves. Now, when you watch that, um, oh. when I continue week in and week out, I haven't come up with a better name for it, but um, Cam throws that spaceship bag, yeah. that low, that flat, super flat, great rotation bag. Dez tends to have a little bit more of a downward angle on his, and it comes in hot. I think I think Dad should really just lay this bag up. He, oh, oh, he's going to shoot. What I know, it. and he got that? an and one out of the, it too. Got the and one. He did. Air mails his bag in, knocks one of Cameron's off the back, or Camden's off the back, and uh, jumps back out into the lead. Five four takes back that first bag. He does, and I, I thought he just should lay up. What a <laughs> shot! Now both of these guys are still single, so yeah. uh, neither married at fourteen or thirteen years old. Repeat. Uh, Respectively, so yeah, but we're looking for a woman for Doug Parker and Sean Priest well, before we do true. these yeah, guys. We've, we've got some other <laughs> tender work to do, I suppose. <laughs> Love connection at the ACO. <laughs> now, Des, even though he's only been playing just uh, shy of a year, practices every day. Nicely done. I say backer right there. Yeah. Camden says he four or five times a week. Yeah. And uh. I was talking to Cam, and he said he saw some cornhole boards at a barbecue mm -hmm. and fell in love with the game. So here we are, another lifer right there. That's great. Years and years to play. Because once it gets in your blood, Finn, mm -hmm. it is very hard to get it out. I was trying to think of his name, Tom Bobo, today. Oh, and yeah. I just thought about it, you know. And he, we, he's kind of retired from cornhole, but played for years, you know. Well, that's what we've talked yeah. about a number of times. I mean, uh, oh, Cameron shot. and I think uh, Griff, who's sitting in the king seat, I think he's 13 as well. Oh, oh that's nicely nice. done. He, takes he saves a couple some of, points. Dez gets one. Takes a couple of bags in yeah. there and minimizes the damage, yeah. even though he puts one off the back or off the side. But, you know, what do we say? We tell these kids that are 10, 11, 12 years old and say, you know what, you know, pace yourself because you don't want to overdo it because otherwise you won't only be able to play this sport for another mm, 70, 75 years. That's right. You know, you think about this, So There's a lot of walking in these single games, mm -hmm. a lot. I've walked a lot of miles today because mm -hmm. I had a very long game with T-Bone. But this is not as hard on your body as, say, you're running up and down the basketball court or taking a beating out on the football field. So, Well, or even something yeah. like racquetball, which yeah. is typically cardio-based and everything else. That's and right. this is the kind of thing where you can look down and find out you've done couple thousand steps right. without even thinking yeah. about it. And I think that's the key to most exercise for it to be effective. You can't think about it. Yeah. You it, guys just uh, stack everything up after the one drops down mm -hmm. underneath. Two, two for this. And you know, I, I, I get people say, oh, you're not getting any exercise out of that. Well, I, I beg to differ. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> I beg to differ. Well, <laughs> I will tell you this. Last week in uh, Knoxville, we played a couple of the juniors, myself and uh, the aforementioned Scott Mitchell. And mm -hmm. we lost the first game to them, and we had bet um, – some pretty high stakes, five push-ups <laughs> on that match. So he and I each had to do five push-ups. I'm still feeling those. <laughs> so, and, and honestly, I feel better after pitching a few rounds of cornhole than I do 
throwing down my five loser. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get in that bed. I would be oh. in bad trouble. Well, you might still be there. <laughs> yeah, somebody had to get me. A, <laughs> you have to get a crane to get me up. What are you talking about? Oh, oh nice shot. Done. How about that? That's a big shot and a big round. And and here's what's great about that. Yeah. Cam turns and looks at Dez, and Dez tells him how many, how many points got he scored. Him. I think I scored there. Yeah. Yep. He had. A, and in fact, earlier there was a um, a frame where. Cam scored, and he started walking away, and Des said, go back and put your points yeah, up. You, you and that's that's the up. sportsmanship that we want to see, yeah. especially out of our juniors. That's right. American Cornhole Organization live at the Bradenton Area Convention Center, Bradenton, Florida. I am Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO courtside with Phil, the Mississippi Ninja Barnett, who was just uh, battling mightily for the seniors championship yeah. tonight, but unfortunately came up oh. a little light, but still took third place for the entire yeah. tournament. Nicely done there. And that was a rocket shot off the back. He leaves nice it open for back Des, there. Des in the backside. And that's five right back. Mm -hmm. Give up five and get five. I think he got seven actually the last round. We get, get, get it over the 10, 11, 12 mark. You do not want to give up, give up a five or a seven because uh -uh. it is hard to battle those back. Well, and I would tell you that, um, you know, there's a lot of discussion about points per frame and, you know, what, you know, what, what, what is it you say 10 doesn't win it? No. And 10s don't win. And 10's a good score, but yeah. that's not going to win it for you. I mean, maximum possible points you can score is 12, obviously, three points per in the hole, four bags. But, uh, and you would think 10 would be enough, but it is not. When you play a T Bone Dawson, there's mm -hmm. the same shot that Cam shot going the other way. Mm hmm. That's a good bag right there. He's going to take the three. Take it. Yeah, and jump up 14 to 13. We have a good match going mm -hmm. here. We sure do. And that blue seed, Des Stevenson, the higher seed coming into this match. Yeah, tens. When I say tens don't win, when you're playing somebody as a caliber of Johnny Thomas, Terry T Bone Dawson, uh, Josh Glover, Kyle Anderson, some of those folks, you better throw 12s or you're going to be behind the eight ball a lot of times. Mm hmm. Craig Irvin, Russell Tabor, all those guys that play in ACO. Caleb Hurt, Isaac. I'll just name a few people. You can say I like to throw out names, but well, those are some of the better players we would, have. I would tell you those are names that if you've watched any ACO tournaments, if you watched the Pro Series from Branson, Missouri last season, those are names you should know Absolutely. and will come to know. And there are some of the names out here on center court right now that you're going to come to know as well because these juniors yes. make a name for themselves very, very quickly. And practice as much as they say they practice. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They're only going to get better. Uh, and the Temptation Island right here for Dez. Come up and over the top. He is going to shoot it. Oh, and, and he, he got it. And takes one. He's got two off. And leaves one off yeah. the back. But uh, he's got one backed up there against yeah. the backstop. They're going to have to go looking for that one. Johnny Thomas threw one. Or somebody <laughs> so, threw one underneath there and had to go looking for it behind the backstop there a moment ago. They need to kick it in gear here. Down 16-13, yeah. but they seem to be trading three spots, four spots more regularly than singles and deuces. That flat bag oh, does nice have a nice uh, right a way of pushing, you know, and the rotation on that bag pushed Dez's bag out to the side. His didn't do it any favors there, and that was nicely done there to spin that bag oh, into the hole. This is a big bag right here for Dez. He must go in hole. Yeah, he's got to get it in there. Yeah, he, and he oh. put it in a good place. Oh, now what? Now. Because that. Let's see. He's got two under, one up. Oh. And that's going to be three. I think that's going to be, yeah. Three. Put him at that all-important 20. 19. My bad. No. That's so hard to get off mm -hmm. of that 19, though. No, yeah, but he needed him to do exactly what he did there. He did. And that's he what to keep kept the game Dez alive. Going. Yep. Keep the game going. Give yourself another chance. Mm -hmm. There's the chance right there. Yeah. Perfect opportunity there. And now uh, Cam's got to regain his focus on the center of the board. Nothing to do. Pretend that bag doesn't exist over there to the left. And that's a uh, that's an unfortunate uh, oh. two points miss there. there but there's in. a couple. No. And he's not able to do it. Not able to convert. And, and you see, you see the bags he's throwing. They're not. They didn't. They don't look like the stickier part mm -hmm. of the bags. The, were those the fire? Yeah, ruckus and fire. To, 
Everything he throws seems like it hangs up if it's not right in the center. Well, so. And the thing is, he's throwing with so much drive behind the bag, yeah. so much power when he lets it go. I mean, it is coming out of there hot, but that one was, had a little more loft uh -huh. on it than I thought. But this this one right here may come in low. No, he's going to go high again. And see, and that's what I'm talking about. Is oh, those other enemy. bags, he's going to have to find a way to get that bag before mm -hmm. he gets there. And yeah, gonna he's got to get it. Finish, he's got to go up and pull it in. He does. He knows what he's up against, 19-13. Yeah. The winner goes to take on Griff Johnson, who's sitting in the king's seat. Yeah. Right across from us, ready to go. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, and he goes for the it. shoot, and he misses. And that's going to wrap it up. Man. Cam Gettings, 13 years old out of Durham, North Carolina, works his way out of the elimination bracket. He will face off against Griffin Johnson, who is the number seven seed coming into the tournament. He will be stepping out on the center court right now, as you see him there, and his Washington football team hoodie. And uh, they're getting their final instructions, well, m some of their final instructions yeah. from And I'm going to say, I saw, I saw Griffin sitting across from us, mm -hmm. and he was not warming up. Sitting yeah, and watching, but sitting he, spent, watching. he spent a lot of time out here in the afternoon yeah. on center court pitching. And, in fact, he was pitching with Dez's little sister. That's who I saw out here pitching. So congratulations to Cam Gettings, who yeah. moves on to face off against Griff Johnson. They're going to take a couple of warm-up throws here, and then we'll let Frank know that – he can give them their he can give them their final down and back and then yeah. give them the instructions to bring it which would be awesome and then we will be underway here on center court once yeah. again griff one of those players that just started out in the backyard like so many of us do he doesn't practice ever he told me <laughs> i saw him pitching earlier i go dude how, how much do you play and he goes well, just you know when i play i don't practice i just get out and play so yeah. good for him I wish I could be like that. I have to throw some <laughs> practice every now and then. He does have one major win under his belt, or under his waistband, I should say, there, in his orange and black, or his yellow and black. Yeah. Loves the Washington football team, obviously. Yeah. That's... i got to be honest with you. If I was that team, having done what Dan Snyder was forced to do and change the name, I think yeah. I would have changed my Washington team football. Yeah. Because I would love to have sold shirts that just said WTF. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's just me. That's pretty good, Finn. <laughs> I have to give you that. Once again, Finn surprises me with a great one. With a zinger on occasion. There you go. All right, so these guys are uh, getting ready to light it up here on center court. That's a big bag up there high with a big spaceship rotation on it. Between the two of them soaking wet, we're not looking at either one of them being able to fill the dent in our chairs. But I'll tell you something. This is the future of the game right here. It is. And uh, I have a feeling this is going to be lights out, and it's going to be breakneck pace. Breakneck pace. Like I always say, strap in because we're getting ready to go. Mm -hmm. There's a nice uh, yeah. nice flat bag again there with that rotation, a quick rotation on that from Griff. I like, I like the way mm -hmm. Griff throws with that little step, and he has got a lot of rotation mm -hmm. on his bag. Where it's going to be, there is going to be some shot making in this game. I do think the last game was a little bit more methodical, a little bit more waiting for the other person to make a to make a mistake. But I think right now, these guys are going to go gunning for one another, and it's not going to be three or four points here and there. It's going to be one or two, and then it's one, I, my one bad answer, round. One big frame is going to make all the difference. Yep, and this is the final down and back as mm -hmm. Frank instructed. And congratulations to Dez, my pick to yeah. win. He finished third. Okay, yep. so he did. He had a he had a nice uh, a nice game, and I know the whole family is here yeah. supporting him, and it's always good to see to see that as well. And certainly, not just in this area, but around the country. Yeah, and I, I, I predict big things for Dez. To be yeah, honest Dez with Stevenson's going to be a name to be reckoned he's with. He's 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 got the fire and the drive, and he's going to work hard, and he's going to make himself better. He's going to learn from that loss today. That's mm -hmm. for sure. And third's not bad either, by the way. I just want to not throw that all. out there yeah, today. Okay. Just in case anybody else just, we know yeah, came in yeah, third today. Just in today. case somebody we know sitting <laughs> came in third. <laughs> well, they tell me I'm the third best announcer in this booth, so I'll go with that. I'll go with that. Oh, Finn, uh, you can't, can't, can't knock yourself down about that, man. Who, uh, how are we going to live without Finn? Come on now. You know my ego will not allow for that. I know that. <laughs> Congratulations. Your hat's getting as big as Austin Cameron oh right now. Oh, my God. Uh, I told him what you said. <laughs> and he said, if I could get through that door doorway, I'd go whoop him. 
Are you ready, baby? Stop scaring them. Bring it, Bring it baby. <laughs> yeah. Here quit, we go. Quit threatening the players, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, it is game on on center court, the Bradenton Area Convention Center, Bradenton Area, Florida. Great hospitality, Ellie and the entire team here. Mitch and Anna and yeah. Vanessa, everybody. We were thrilled to be here for the World Championships this past year. Can't wait to be back again for another major next year. And right here on center court where memories continue to be made for That's right. repeat champions here in town. That's right. I love this one because, you know, I have family here. Mm-hmm. So, gives me a chance to come do some visiting, play some cornhole, what stuff. I like to do. All right. And get to sit next to you. There you go. I'm Griff Johnson. Post the first deuce. Yeah. And they're just firing away. There's no taking their time. Uh, and this could be just a big pile up. So what I, I yeah. would think one of them would shoot the airmail here. No, I think right now yeah. they're just they're just trying to figure out. I mean, nope. after after showing off during all of the warm ups and down and backs, I think it was one of those where they said, "All right, all right, I'll see your dog pile and I'll raise you another that's right. another pile." Man, somebody, something's got the fans all fired up about these two guys, and I like it. Mm-hmm. Our Hampton Farms Peanut Gallery. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, earlier congratulations to our uh, Hampton Farms Big Blind Draw team win. Yeah. Sean Priest, the snowman, John Hunter Stanley coming to a hoedown near you, coming yeah. very soon. Congratulations, his first tournament ever. He takes home that Big Blind Draw championship. These guys continue to work their way down and back. And uh, while points. this is live scoring, it's going to be a – Two to Deuce two. that ties things up. Griff sitting in the king seat right now. Camden would have to double dip. Mm -hmm. And we've we seen might as well at this point just say is going <laughs> to have the opportunity to double dip, yeah. but we don't want to count. There we go. Well, count that's what Griff I'm out of firing it. it, young man. Yeah, it is interesting. While they were warming up, they seemed a lot more aggressive and yeah. a lot more uh, cocky about their game. You know, you know, Russell Tabor's my good friend, tells me, you, you got a chance to shoot three arrows, you make one, mm -hmm. and they have four bags on the board. The only most you can lose is a penny. Mm-hmm. Boy, and there's a, uh, an opportunity. Uh, yes, there uh, it is right there, as if it's almost like he heard you. But yeah, only pulls two out of it with some op other opportunity in there with Cam leaving a couple on and one off the back. But uh, – I think things are going to open up a little I bit think here. So. I think, so I think there might be a little a, blood in the water or on the board there with Griff and that airmail. Somebody's going to have a big round in this mm -hmm. match, I have a feeling. It was a good blocker to put out there to play that defensive yeah. strategy with his first bag. Oh, that was a good bag. Nicely done there to push the two in. The safest part of the board right now appears to be the middle. Yeah, that's true. Coming low. And, and I think he's the one. The fire bags, is, is that what I'm seeing, Griffin? I thought he was throwing Did Vikings. Are they playing BGs? Both of them yeah. are playing BGs. That, that, it really looks like the fire to me. So, and that's the bag of choice for the young people. Yeah, I guess so. Looks that way. He's going to play that low block again with no blood, no foul on that. Last frame up and oh, over. Oh, oh, how about that? What a now shot. That's what I like to block in the air He's mail. Go again, isn't he? Oh, he yeah, tried to short. He skipped off of that blocker. Boom. There's one Aston answered right there. Nicely done, Cam. And the, oh, <laughs> there, there it we is. go. There it is. Oh, oh the roll yeah. shot. And then the, the air mail try that puts, puts Griff's bag in and throws his off the back. Eight to two out of the red lane. Griffin Johnson takes a. I, what would appears to be at this point a commanding lead, but as, <laughs> as we've said time and time again, yeah, you know. 20 to 15 wasn't a commanding no. lead earlier, so we shall 20 see. 20 to 5 was not a commanding lead. But right there, an opportunity opened up by Griff and Cam unable to take advantage of it. Ooh. All right, Ooh, so a lot. Now he's going to come push with the hard yeah. push, and he takes two down there, and that's going to open it up, and yep. Cam's able to. Minimize the damage there to four, but that yeah. was a that was a really solid bag there. That last bag it was. out of Griffin Johnson's hands plays out of St. Pete Cornhole. So close Tampa here, home. yeah. Local boy. Mm-hmm. 
pretty much the closest player we've seen on center court yeah. so far from a hometown standpoint. Wow, oh, nice shot. And I have a feeling he's going to have to lean on that. Yeah. He's going to have to keep doing it. He's going to have to. Oh, oh and, and that's two, two dead center. Mm-hmm. And then, uh-oh, here's a foot fault right yeah, there, somebody. but there's no official. No. Nicely oh. done. Nice clean up right there. Yeah. And One point. That's going to uh, earn Cam the single with that board off the back. There will ultimately, I think, if he's still throwing with that sort of uh, oomph behind it, that foot fault may come into play yeah. again, and that's not something that he wants to build as a no. habit, to be sure. We saw that come back to bite the Kingslayer. Yes, sir. In the Pro Series in Branson, Missouri this past oh, May. nice bag. It's nicely done, rolls up and over and pulls one in with him, and then... And, you know, they got the local crowd here pulling for the local boy, and there's two more points. 14 to three. I like it when it gets loud and the people get excited. It gets me excited. Yep. Well, you can certainly hear them. They're, they're circling center court here, and they've uh, chosen their boy. Nice bag. And this could be big right here if he can make another one of those little steps. Yeah, that's and perfect. He's able to sneak it in just a nice little bit. That was a really there. good bag. It was a nice, uh, great opportunity there to get in. Oh, and it does <laughs> drop in the back, and he's going to go oh. for the air, and he loses it right there. He's going to be it off the back. Four. That's going to be a four spot, yeah. 18 to three. And uh, Frank is going to step out and talk to these guys about foot faults yeah. to make sure they're not stepping out over that line that runs along the front of the board. That's a a line that you have to make sure that you stay behind until the bag has come to rest yes. on the opposite end of the court. We did, like I said, see that come back to bite the Kingslayer and Branson, but it didn't cost him the no. match, but he didn't like it. He was not too happy about being uh, called and yeah. having a dead bag called on him for having foot faulted. And what tends to happen is that tends to happen on the fourth bag as they start to walk toward the finish. Yeah. And they haven't finished letting all of the bags do what they're going to do before they start walking. And that's, Typically, when we'll see that happen, I'll tell you, Cam is doing everything he can to go for the hole on that airmail. That's a nice oh, right there. Oh, that's beautiful. I thought he had them all. Yeah. And it looks like Griffin could finish that's this gonna off. be a finish. Oh, yeah, and he pulls two in right it. there. That's oh, it. Oh, and that's going to hey. do it. Is that Very nice. It? As he finished it off right he there. He did. Two off of the back for Camden Gettings. Yeah. Congratulations to Griffin Johnson. 21-3 to three is going to yeah. be the final. So, 21-3. The first time we haven't had a double That's dip right. in two majors. So congratulations again, Griffin Johnson out of Tampa, Florida. He was coming into the tournament the number seven seed, and he takes down Cam Gettings, the number five seed, 21 to three. He's going to grab the juniors championship. We're going to see if we can get him over here, him over here into the booth and uh, talk to him a little bit about what it took to take down Cam. Cam had a good game, but uh, ultimately Griffin's going to uh, – Griff is going to – Dump his bags off to the side here. He's going to uh, take the microphone. Let's get those bad boys on there and uh, let's talk a little bit, buddy. How uh, nicely done. Well Thanks. done. I saw you out there throwing when we were getting ready to go on the air, and I think you were throwing with Dez's little sister. Is that right? Were you out yeah. there pitching with her? She's, she's got pretty some, good. She's got some game coming, but I'll tell you what. Coming in out of Tampa, Florida, kind of the hometown crowd here, for lack of a better term. I mean, I know it's a couple hours away, hour and a half, but – you certainly had the crowd behind you. Yeah. When did you know you had the game won at what point? Probably when I was throwing the blockers and then the airmails. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blockers and airmails are the yeah. key to the whole thing. But I'll tell you what, you guys both started a little bit more conservatively than you did when you were warming up. But I think finally you started throwing that low hard bag and were yeah. able to get a couple good pushes and then and we're scoring some points. It was good stuff. Yeah. So uh, talk to me about – uh, how long do you intend to play this game? I mean, you're only probably physically going to be able to play for another 70 or 80 years. So, do you think <laughs> you're going to try to do that? I don't know. I mean, just depends how life goes. I guess. Yeah. What other uh, What other sports are you into? Football. Football. Play a little basketball, but a little not bit of hoops. What do you play football? A quarterback. All right. So, uh, do you think one of these days maybe Washington football team, or are you thinking maybe World Championships of cornhole? I don't know. I mean. 
I'll go cornhole. Well, yeah, whatever, whatever yeah. pays the makes it rain, right? Yeah. All right. Well, nicely done, man. Center court didn't seem to have any effect on you. You had nerves of steel. Nicely yes. done from the king seat to the championship and the purple jersey. This is the guy, Griffin Johnson. Nicely done. And we are going to be stepping up with one of our former queens of cornhole here in the women's division coming in just a moment. So, Griff, congratulations. Nicely done. Take that trophy, take that jersey, and celebrate that victory. Thank you. Nicely done. All right. ACO, we are Cornhole.